What's up, YouTube? This is True Raw 4 TV. All right, so this is a series that I started on this channel. Uh, it's, it's infrequent. I don't do it that often, I guess. I'll try to do it more frequency. Uh, basically, this series is... I started it with the Ghostbusters movie I did. Maybe I need to do a playlist. I think I need to put all of those these videos on a playlist. Like, how did they survive? Something like that. I might even call it that. <laughs> the first video I did was, how did the Ghostbusters survive that uh, Empire State explosion in the first Ghostbusters? And then the second one you guys might remember was, how did uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger... Uh, how, how did his character survive? How, how did he outrun the explosion, which apparently was nuclear in nature at the end of the first Predator? So this one is, how did Reggie Hammond survive that bus crash in another 48 hours? Okay. Now, just refresh you guys' memories. Uh, back in 1990, you're my age and old. Maybe a little bit young, you still might remember it. Came out in 1990. I think I was about 10 when this movie premiered. 9 or 10. And um, this was a sequel to 48 Hours, which was Eddie Murphy's first, at least his first hit film. I don't know if it was his first film appearance. Probably was. I think he was 19 when this was, movie was filmed. Um, 20 or 20 when it came out. But anyway, uh, the first one was unbelievable. Great, great movie. The second one, at the time, didn't get that great as far as reviews. And I don't know whether it was as successful the box office. I can't remember. I don't think it was as successful. I think it did okay. But, it, but you know, this was when Eddie was hitting a, 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 a stretch in his career when you know, his movies were doing okay, but they weren't as successful as his movies in the 80s. And people made such a big deal out of it, but, you know, Sylvester Stallone also was going through a rough spot. Arnold was hitting this, but they don't get the same smoke. But anyway, anyway, the point is, and in, in, in so in years, I think people look at this movie a lot better, you know. But anyway, fuck all of that. There's a certain scene in this movie that always bothered me, and I think it bothered a lot of people back then. It bothers me more now that I'm older, obviously, and I know how physics work. How in the fuck did he survive this bus crash? Okay? Now, just to do, just to refresh you guys' memory, I'm going to play a little bit of it, just, just the part where the bus crash <laughs>
There's no way that he should have. The movie should have came to an end right then and there. The movie, the next scene should have been paramedics pulling out what's left of the mangled body, and we see a bloated Eddie Murphy lying there, blood pouring out of his fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Just absolutely mangled up. That's the end of the movie. Credits rolling. And then the bikers roll off, high five each other, and that's it. That should have been the end of the movie. This should have been a gruesome, bloody, just absolute, just. I ain't going to say that on YouTube. I ain't going to say that. Oh, man, that's fucked up to say, man. I think I'm going to just say that. I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. But it should have been a horrible, just despicable display. Plot armor. That's all I can think of, man. Plot armor. I've been in two car crashes. Two. And the impact that I felt was minuscule compared to what this was. I mean, one one hundred thousandth of what, maybe not even that. And I, to this day, I have a bad back. So keep in mind, he's not even strapped in. <laughs> this book, Reggie Hammond should have been banging off the side, banging off the top, the front, and the side of that bus like a goddamn jackpot machine. No seatbelt on a huge bus that overturned and flipped over 17 times. And then got hit by another truck head on. Come on, man. Come on. 